Hi, I'm Dan Larson, and this is a closer look at 1990s Technodrome. Playmates Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Technodrome was released in 1990 as part of the third year of Ninja Turtles toys cresting a bodacious wave of gnarly consumerism. Essentially just a big golf ball on tank treads with guns sticking out all over the place and a giant eyeball on top, this playset slash vehicle measured roughly 15 inches tall. While that might seem radical at first glance, the depiction in the cartoon was more like the size of the spherical Spaceship Earth attraction from Epcot at Walt Disney World Resort in Florida. Spaceship Earth is 180 feet in diameter, which would mean the Technodrome using the 4-inch Ninja Turtles action figures as our reference point should be in the neighborhood of 72 feet, which is obviously impractical for mass production purposes, but would have been some kind of record, even if you only sold one. For practical reasons, the whole thing was scaled down to 10 inches so it would fit in a box that could be put on a shelf small enough to fit into a shopping cart, but still large enough to blow your mind on Christmas morning. A plastic ball with wheels! Cowabunga dudes! Eat my shorts! Over the course of its appearances on the original animated series, there were all sorts of things depicted as being held within. The academics over at Wikipedia did the research and have logged an exhaustive list of amenities including 972 rooms, transdimensional portal, a mouser factory, holding cells, a foot soldier training facility, earthquake machine, tea and coffee making facilities, anti-gravity generators, disintegrator unit, escape pods, video game arcade, laundry room, a turtle farm, bonsai garden, and of course, a pool and sauna. The folks at Playmates did their best, but with only 10 inches to play with, you're going to have to settle for all of those things in vignette form. Not quite 972 rooms, but you do get a control console, a view screen, a sticker that represents a transdimensional portal, and a bed? Something that looks like a weapons storage facility or something, a steering wheel slash periscope attached to the giant eyeball on top. More importantly, Playmates knew that you can't have a successful playset without two very important things. One, trapdoor. Two, jail. They don't have to be connected, but a trapdoor that leads to a jail gets like a triple multiplier of wicked awesomeness. Literally one-sixth of this playset slash vehicle is dedicated to the jail. That's how important a feature it is. The hinged opening nature of the playset acts as a way to let the interior of the Technodrome abstractly occupy space outside the sphere itself. The whole area around the playset becomes part of the interactive space of the playset, limited only by your ability to suspend disbelief. Weird thing about the Technodrome is that it never really got to fulfill the promise of danger that it always represented to the Turtles, reinforced by Shredder and Krang's constant threats of the things it was absolutely going to do. Just you wait. It always ran out of power or got teleported to Dimension X. The truth is, the Turtles had things pretty well in hand, and other than a bit of collateral damage here and there, it never really posed any more threat than leaving a giant hole in the ground after it burrowed either up from the ground to attack or back down into the ground to escape. One of the greatest playsets slash vehicles ever? Oh yeah, sure. And that eyeball on top doesn't stay on too well, so good luck finding one for sale complete with eyeball. If you do, expect to shell out like 200 bucks because you may have noticed that the turtles are still pretty popular and demand for the vintage stuff is still pretty strong. Thanks for watching, dudes. Be sure to give this video a like, share it the way you never shared your toys, subscribe to the channel free of charge, and let us know in the comments down below if you ever owned a Technodrome or if you just knew the kid in the neighborhood that had one and how you simply burned with jealousy, especially when you saw how crappily he took care of it. <laughs> I wasn't that kid. You were? No. I was neither of those kids.